All right, so tighten this. I'm gonna kind of loosen this up and, and reposition the line a little bit. So basically I made it so that way the touching down here, this, this loop, it barely touches and it barely touches here and it doesn't really touch the shock barely either. So, so that's a good thing. Um, so basically this, this hair sticks out even more and I can see that, see how it comes out more. So uh, basically I have to pull the line out that direction uh, instead of this direction um, to give me, you know, less rubbing here. And I don't think my, I don't think my heel will touch this. Um, so I should be okay there. Uh, but I'm still gonna get the, uh, you know, go to the hardware store and get a hose and, and uh, you know, whatever, thickness this is I'm not sure what this is this is this looks like it's a little bit over a quarter inch uh, so maybe uh, what, what's bigger than what's the next size bigger than quarter inch quarter inch next size bigger is what uh, five sixteenths maybe something like that I don't know. so I'm not exactly sure anyways I have to measure this and get a hose and you know about that long or so and wrap that you know cut that hose split the hose in half and, and put the hose on uh, from here all the way to down here so that way those three points if they do touch uh, they don't they don't rub into the brake line so now i'm basically gonna bleed the brakes uh, i really so to, to bleed the brakes you know because the exhaust is in the way so you can't you know you can't pour you can't fill up your reservoir so you have to un unbolt it so that's eight millimeter i mean took off the cap uh, so watch out Put a rag underneath here because you might spill some onto your paint and then uh, remember brake fluid will eat paint so don't let the brake fluid get on your paint otherwise it'll eat your paint uh, so that way i can move this out of the way right here to fill it back up uh, move it down and you know to fill it up and uh, right now my line here has has air in it you know it's just empty so i have my uh, bleeder onto a container all right so the bleeder is onto the container uh, and basically now i just need a Beat the brakes. So what what you do is you pump you know you pump the brakes. I usually like to pump it uh, pump it hold it down. You pump it all the way you know basically uh, uh, apply the brakes all the way down and hold it down. Hold it down uh, while I'm holding it down. I open up this lever and uh, you know and the air should get out here and and uh, and close this lever. Then once I close this lever, and I can pump again. Um, and you, when you pump, what you do is you want to pump it, and not just once, but you want to pump it a few times. Usually three times is enough. You pump it until you feel it firm. Usually the first time it's, it's, it's kind of soft feeling, so you're like, oh, kind of soft. And you, as you pump it, it firmer. When you start feeling it firm, that's when you hold it. Hold it there, uh, release it here, let, let it bleed out. Uh, once it, it's just about bled out, close this back up. And do this lightly, you know. You don't need to tighten it. Um, then, then once once it's back, when it's closed, you go back. Then you release this. Then you release this brake lever here, and pump it again, and do that. And all the time you do that, pay attention to your reservoir. Make sure that it doesn't go lower than the lower mark. Otherwise, um, otherwise you lose or you you introduce air into your line. So I'm gonna angle it this way, so that way you can kind of see me working both this here and the brake lever and I'm not sure if you can see me uh, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see me do the um, the reservoir or not probably not it's gonna be like like that also so that way you can see this here in the corner me pushing this lever down and you can see how the action works all right so let's get started so my reservoir here is up and I'll pump it down once to, and it's not gonna firm up because remember my my line here has an air hose, uh, air air in it, so it's, there's no way it's gonna firm up. So open this up. So air just came out. There was nothing, no no liquid came out here at all. Pulls it back up. Now I can release this once this closes. Pump it a few times. Hold it. Open this up again. I heard air coming out again. Close this. Let go of the brakes. Pump it a few times again. Open it up. I heard it again. So basically, you just keep on keep doing that. Keep on doing that until all the air is gone. Right. And right now, the brakes can go all the way down because it's because you know there's all this air in the line. 
Oh, I can feel it for a minute. Oh, yep, it's definitely for a minute. So it's for a minute more than, than before. Okay, now I can see some fluid coming out right here. I see some fluid coming out right there, but it's kind of, um, it's kind of, uh, it has elbows in it. So that's a good thing. That means I'm doing it, doing something right. Okay, so that's so my reservoir up here is uh, at the low mark. So I have my dot dot four brake fluid. I'm gonna fill up the reservoir to uh, full. So remember, when you work with brake fluid, be mindful of it. Don't let it spill onto paint because it will eat paint. Uh, if you do spill on it, wipe it off. And after you finish wiping off and finish your task. Go to the spot where I spilled paint and rinse that off. You know, rinse it with water so that way it rinses off. Because uh, brake fluid over time it will eat paint. All right, so I'm pumping my brakes. It's actually firm already. I can feel it firm already. Hold it. Open this up. I see air bubbles. It's even firmer now. I see more air bubbles. Still see air bubbles. So each time I, I pump in and release down here, I'm seeing less and less air bubbles. Okay, that one was really less. Okay, I'm at the low mark again on my on my reservoir. Come back here and fill it up again. Oops, I filled it up a little bit too much there. Almost spilling out, not quite, but pretty close. Slow again, fill it up. Sometimes it helps to uh, kind of tap, tap the calipers a little bit too. Uh, if there's any bubbles, that's well, this is not a good thing to use to tap with. Better to use like a little mallet or, or another screwdriver, so it's softer. It doesn't it doesn't ding up your um, doesn't ding up your, your your calipers. But sometimes I just tap it, whatever air bubbles that might be lingering right at, right in the corner and not you know not floating to the top. Uh, usually the, the tapping will help, um, you know, kind of loosen it up a little bit and, and let it flow to the top. Again, just keep on repeating it until the air bubbles are all gone. I still have little residual air bubbles. Ooh, that was the first one where there was no air bubbles. Oh, a little bit more. God dang it. Spoke too soon.
too much, too much. getting less and less each time but there's still air bubbles in there So if I'm able to pump it, you know, push it out here three times without air bubbles, I'm, I call it good. So this last one was still air bubbles. That one's none. And that one's none. Let's see this last one. Oops, I need to fill up here. Oh, let's forget. Never forget to fill this up, otherwise that's how you introduce air bubbles. So always keep an eye on that reservoir. The third time, I'm gonna do maybe one more time. Let's see. Yep, I'm gonna call it good. Yep, I'm gonna call it good. That was four times, four times without air bubbles here. So that's good there. I'm good. I'm gonna tighten this down. Okay, that's good there. My reservoir is right at the upper mark, just just below the upper mark line. So that's, that's good enough as far as being full. So here's my reservoir cap. I need to wipe this clean. Whatever moisture is in it and such. On this uh, this uh, rubber bellow piece right here. That's what it is. It's basically it's like a it's like a bellow. It expands uh, as the reservoir as it breaks pads wear and the reservoir fluid drops. You know, it needs to take up that space. And he, uh, obviously, you can't put air into it. So uh, so this thing expands. Like so, take up that space. So wipe this clean. All right, so it's all wiped clean. Now we put it back onto the, uh, the cap here. Let's move this out of the way here. So have space. Let's put it back onto the cap. So there's this little back, oops, this little back piece, backing piece right here. So this should be clean too. And wipe that clean. So this this right here, that's actually a little air hole here. So that way it lets this bellow expand. Otherwise, if, if it's completely sealed, 
this thing won't be able to expand because you know because it's sealed, right? All right. So let's drop this back onto the um, back onto the uh, the cap there. And this is the point where you make sure that your reservoir line here is not above the maximum line because if it is, when you put this, when you drop that, that bellow in, it basically it overfills and it's, it uh, brake fluid will spill out if uh, if you if you fill it past that maximum line. So I usually I'm not usually just a just a hair under that line, uh, so that's that's when I know it won't it won't spill out. And the whole time I'm keeping this thing level because I don't want anything to uh, come out. Okay, I'm good there. And just screw this back in. Let's see what's that screw. Oh, there it is. So sorry, that's an eight millimeter bolt. Right there. Screw that back in like so. Okay, we got there. So here, uh, I need to release this down. Bring this down so that way that I can drain out whatever fluid is down in here. So bring this lower than. Lower down so I can drain that fluid out. Otherwise, if I just pull this off with the fluid in here, it'll spill all over the place. So, okay, I'm gonna have to get ready for spillage because there's still about an inch and a half of fluid in here. Oops. Okay, just took it out real fast. Better, better to let it spill on the ground than it is to uh, spill on uh, on your paint. Remember, we want to save that paint. Don't do not get that paint wet with brake fluid. So there's a little bit brake fluid here. I'll wipe that off, and I'm gonna wheel this out outside and uh, and rinse this off with the uh, water. Rinse this off with water as well. Where the banjo bolt is when I connected when I made the connection, and the banjo bolt on the front as well. For those three spots on the rinse out with water, make sure there's no brake uh, brake fluid at all. Uh, one thing you, you want to do if you have a air compressor is um, after you rinse it with water, there's always residual brake fluid in here. So rinse it out with water as much as you can so that, 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 that out. If you have an air compressor, blow into this. Don't pull straight into it. Blow kind of at an angle so that way it sh shoots out you know, the other way. Uh, blow that out, then, then rinse some more water. That way you basically get the water to flush through inside this nipple. Because if you leave brake fluid in here, uh, again, it's corrosive. It, it will start corroding here. Uh, so, so I always do that when I, you know, after I bleed the brakes. Um, that way, I don't have any brake fluid uh, anywhere corroding and possibly eating my paint uh, as well. So yeah, so that's it. Uh, so that's the the rear brakes changing to uh, stainless steel braided lines uh, and bleeding the brakes. Now I just need to clean up and I need to go to the hardware store and buy find a hose that's uh, the, the ID is whatever this thickness is. Uh, I have no idea, I haven't measured it yet. So the ID of this hose, and that way I could, and I cut that slit, cut, cut a slit in it in half of the slit. Uh, that, w that way I could wrap that hose around this this hose so I could have a, uh, a protector from where the rubbing points are. Okay, so that's it. So thanks for watching.